Okay, let's check. Let's check. Let's check really quick. Hello, good evening. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Everything good? Thank you. Good. Thank you so much for joining us. Good. Good evening. Welcome, everybody. It's nice to have you one time. Welcome, welcome. We have Friday. Finally, we did it. Right. So thank you so much for being here. We will continue having uh, practice, as you may know, with this module, which is um, intermediate English module number one. Okay. So thank you so much for being here uh, in today's class. Um, okay. Okay, where? Get it. Okay. So let me show you what's going to be today's class. Uh, we're going to talk. Good evening. Thank you. Welcome. Nice to have you when you join. Thank you. With experience. So, uh, we've been working uh, in section number four with a little bit of uh, simple past and uh, the present perfect tense. Right, That is the thing we've been working so far. And we're working with experience. So today we're going to keep... Um, website talking about it yes and i hope that we can have a chance to do it okay so thank you so much for being here and we are going to start just um working on this thing that is called simple present and and and, and present perfect right? which is the ones that we use when it comes when it comes to talk about experience says we use uh, the past tense and the present perfect to communicate that, okay? So um, let's begin with this. As you may see, we have this, uh, the past simple and the present um, perfect, okay? Uh, we're gonna ask uh, Juan David, good, good, uh, good evening. Of Juan David. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Do me a favor and read this information, please. Thank you. Yes, yes, no problem, teacher. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, past simple. Uh, is must, uh, is plus uh, B, a D, E, T. Um, express definition, time. Um, E.G., we live in Japan from a... Uh, um, um, 19. 19, uh, 19, um, 90. 90 to 1998. Okay, refer, refer of definitive time. AG, I sub the Eiffel Tower in uh, 20, 20, oh, Seven indicate a series of finished action. E.g., first the read the book and then the watch it, the movie. Present perfect is plus have has plus b it is describe units. Unishage time, e.g., I have worked up a teacher since 20, uh, <laughs> science, uh, 12, 12, 11, refer to indefinite time, e.g., I have seen the Eiffel Tower express experience or result. E.g., she has already watched this movie three times. 
Thank you. That's thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we have some mistakes and pronunciation. Okay, Juan, but you did it quite good. Okay. Uh, now, Juan, uh, do you understand what are we talking about with, uh, between past simple and present perfect? Like, like, do you get the idea of these uh, examples and uh, this definition? Do you understand? Uh, Juan David? Um, in definition, what 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 do you mean, teacher? Excuse me. Like, do you understand when do you use simple present? I'm sorry, simple past. Oh yes, yes, past, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Past simple, past past simple is is subject plus a verb, um, uh, et. Uh, the the verb um, is is past simple uh, okay. in perf uh, present perfect is uh, subject plus have have uh, uh, dependiendo del sujeto el subject mm -hmm. uh -huh. subject plus verb uh, it is that is correct. That is correct. Very good. Teacher. Yes. Paul, hi. What is the meaning of EG? Uh, EG. It's uh -huh. like example. Oh, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Wonderful. Uh, Geraldine Chacon, do you understand what do you see um, on the screen? Yes, Geraldine. I think I think I think you have a problem with your internet connection because your 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 voice is breaking down. So somehow, so I don't I don't I didn't hear I didn't hear what you were saying. Lucia, Elena. Hello, Lucia. Yes, yes teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Oh, that's wonderful. Do me a favor. Do you understand what do you see on the screen? No, but I'm learning tonight. Okay, okay. What is the thing that you do not understand? Mm. I hear the... Mm -hmm. Something that you don't understand. Um, no entiendo... Cuando lo que pasa es que pienso que la base es aprender los verbos en una forma y en otra. Entonces, si no sabe los verbos, no los puedo usar. Mm. En, 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 ok. Digamos, ahí donde dice hay sau, hay sin, tengo que aprender la diferencia entre los dos verbos para poder aplicarlos. Okay. Yes, teacher. Uh, and past simple, um, uh, in irregular verb, it it uh, no 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 se coloca el id, no, o sea, no va. Si es un verbo irregular. Oh yes, that is correct. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. So sure. Lucia, Lucia, sure. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, the first thing, Lucia, that I want you to understand. Es que me um, que entienda es para qué utilizamos el past simple y para qué utilizamos el present perfect. That's, that's the first thing, right? Para qué nos sirve esto y esto, right? That's, that's the first yeah. thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so for example, here, what do you think past simple? When do we use past simple? Yeah. I use when I'm learning cuando hay un límite de fecha. Okay. Okay. Okay, but specifically the past simple is about se trata de o, o lo utilizamos para para algo que hice. 
Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So the main explanation about this is that past is about the past. Okay. So that's that's the only purpose of this. So whenever you have, whenever you have past tense, Lucia significa pasado. Always. Okay. So that means you did it. So it was it's it's in the past. Everything is in the past. Mm -hmm. And with present perfect. Para qué crees que utilizamos el present perfect? What do you think? Uh, when I uh, is is right now in 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 the present. Okay. Okay. So how yes. Somehow, yes, okay? Uh, el present perfect, Lucia, es cuando, like, se empezó algo in the past, right? In the past, y todavía, pues, lo hace, ¿ya? Or, Lucia, or, si usted quiere hablar de experience, porque las experiences las tenemos del pasado, ¿vale? Right? Yes? Sí. So, el present perfect nos sirve para experiences. Yes? Y como, y como uso los verbos en cada uno. Beautiful. Okay. So the first, the past, utilizamos los verbs in past. Past tense. Okay. Past verbs. That means regular, regular verbs. Okay. With ed, ed ending, and we have irregular verbs. Okay. Yes. That's with yes. past tense. Past tense, right? So we have this one. Past tense, I use this thing, right? And and um with present perfect, with present perfect, I use um past participle. Okay, past participle. Okay, that could be regular or Irregular verse. Okay. Yes. So as you may know, in English we have regular and irregular verse. Yes. So with with past simple, we use the really? normal past, right? Regular and with ed and irregular verse. And with past participle, we use regular verbs or irregular verbs, but it's going to be past participle. Let me show you one example. Okay. As you may know, Geraldine, excuse me, do you have a question? Yes, le, le quería contestar. Es que se me fue a Entiendo que la herencia va a ser en el pasado, ¿verdad? Que vamos a utilizar el was o el were. Y en el otro, el has y el had. Eso va a ser la diferencia, independientemente los verbos. Siempre le vamos a poner la ID para diferenciarlos. Yes, that is correct. Okay. That is correct. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that is correct. Everything you're saying is correct. Give me a minute. Oh my gosh. No, I don't have it here. Okay. I'm just looking for a picture so I can show you the difference. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Okay. 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 A minute. But what happened is I would like to show you uh, the question that your classmate is, is, is asking, which is about uh, having that difference. When do we use um, verbs? Okay. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Let me show. I'm going to show you with, with um, really quick. Oh, jeez. Come on. Yeah. Hurry up. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yuki. 
Okay, here we go. So I would like to show you this one, okay? So if here in this list, I have the verb here, talk, fry, swing, swim, eat, fries, and go. So this is the list, right? Yes. Okay, so here I have the past tense, the simple past, the past participle, and here I have another one which is present participle. That is present continuous. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to focus in this too, right? This one. Okay. See this one? Yes. Okay. So uh, I'm going to use these ones with past tense. Okay. So whenever I talk about something in past, I'm going to use this one. For example, okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Carlos, okay, eat pupusas, right? Eat. Yes, yes. Okay. So if you see here, the context is in the past. Yes. Carlos ate pupusas. So this is the past. And the past participle is this one. Okay. okay. Present perfect. Okay. Present. Perfect. Okay. okay, so whenever I'm going to talk about something in present perfect, I'm going to use this one. Okay? Yes? Yes? So, these verbs with, with past simple and these are with uh, present perfect, which is, which is the following. Let me show you. Yeah, you need to delete it. Okay. So when it comes here in the next slide, just this one, that's what we have. Yes. And here is on the screen, Rona. Yes, teacher. Okay. I try to give us uh, some examples about this, this, this topic. Oh, please so go ahead. In the past, okay. Okay. In the past, on the simple past, uh, I could say, Luis ate a lot of candy last night. But in yeah. present perfect, I need to add uh, some context in the present, okay? So I can say, Luis ate a lot of candy last night, and now he is going to the hospital because he mm -hmm. feels very, very, very sick or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. And here, Alexis, that was very good. And here, Lucia, is where it comes the experience. So if you notice here, the present perfect, we can use to describe unfinished time. Yes. So, for example, you can say, I've been, I don't know. Oh, let me see. I've worked as a teacher since 2011, but right now I'm still doing it, okay? But I started this thing in the past. Oh that is my God. experience. That is what my is experience. Happening? Patricia, do you have a question? No, 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 no. Said no. It's okay. okay. So that is an experience, okay, okay. Lucia? Yes. So I can use the present perfect to talk about my experience, right? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Uh, also refers to infinite time, okay? Indefinite, I'm sorry. It refers to indefinite time, okay? I have seen the Eiffel Tower, okay? So I can, I can talk about an experience, something that I did in the past, but I need to use the present, the present perfect to communicate. Express experience or result. She has already watched this movie three times, like the example Ronald was given, right? Yes, we can use the present perfect uh, to talk about it. And here in this context that we are working on, in this context, is pretty much about like using these two together to talk about an experience. Yes, like have you ever visited New York? Or have you ever been to New York? Or have you ever, I don't know, drunk 
I don't know, changes, all right? And the past simple is 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 easier because it's like goes with just the past past events. Okay, so we don't we don't have to deal with that. But again, uh, related to your question, like which verbs do we use? With past simple, we use the the past form of the verb, and with present perfect, we use the um past participle version of the verb. Okay, so it's the third column in the list. The third column in the list of verbs. That is the one that we use. And we use verbs, regular verbs with ed ending, and we use also irregular verbs. The irregular verbs are the difficult ones because those are not easy to remember, okay? Um, oh my God. And sometimes, have... uh, sorry. Sure. Sometimes uh, it's something that uh, com comes to the past, but uh, it has finished in um, close uh, past. I, I don't know how to say that. Uh, like yesterday. So, or 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 a time that is close to to, to now. Um, like I've been studying. I've been studying um, English for ten years, but I have finished like. Uh, last week, something like that, no? Well, if if you finish already, that is past tense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But, 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 but you can say that in, in present perfect, no? It's a period of time when you were uh, doing uh, some activity and it, 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 it has um, finished, but in a, in a close time. Like oh. yesterday, like last week. Oh, oh yes. In that context, yes, right. So you can tell. Oh, I've been studying English for ten years. Uh -huh, um, yes. But but yesterday I got graduated. Yeah, yes, yeah. I did wrong, oh. right? So in that one, you you start like the the conversation with the past participle. I'm sorry, with the uh -huh. present perfect. Uh, yeah. And then well, you continue. get the past, and then you get past. the past tense there, so you can be clear about it. Okay. because you finished the action already okay, okay. so mm -hmm. perfect wonderful we're going to talk about a little bit of this thing that is food we have some verbs over there do you see these verbs here bake boil fry grill roast and steam do you understand these verbs yes teacher yes okay perfect thank you so much so we have this question for you what's your favorite way to cook or eat the food in part eight, okay? Oh, depends. Oh, Patricia, yeah. thank you, go ahead. Uh, oh, me, what did you say, what did you ask, please? Uh, please repeat oh, the question. One. This oh. one here, this one here. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, my favorite uh, way to, to cook? Yeah. Okay. It depends. <laughs> I like to grill uh, meat, but I, I like to steam vegetables and I like to fry potatoes. <laughs> oh, that's uh, very good. Very yeah, good. yeah. And I like to bake uh, some bread. Oh, yeah. So you're you're good at cooking, right? Uh, I, 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 been, I was studying um, cook, uh, for Chef, I, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, so you took some courses? Uh, yes, yes, for two years. Oh, that's great. But a long time ago, like five years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, just be careful with, with the past. Before pandemic. Uh oh. Just be careful with past continuous, okay? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you, you started like, uh, I was studying, like. I was studying, yes, for for two years. I was studying. Oh, okay. So, but in that context, you need to use the past tense to communicate that. Yeah. Yes. Go, go with the simple. No, not with past continuous, because past continuous is is, is another context of the. Of the conversation. But, uh, I was trying to say you that it was for a, a period of period of uh, time. Yes. Yes. I. I oh. oh. So in that one, in that case, okay. Yes. You can use for and since. Okay. Uh, can you can you uh 
give me the the, the same uh, sentence. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. How do I I have to say? Uh -huh. Yeah, but but I want you to know is like uh, in that context you need to use the past tense, the simple past. Okay. Yeah, but but if if I wanna tell you that I was uh, studying for two years, oh, how do yes. you say? Because it's a, a finished uh, uh, activity, but I I I want to say that it was for two years. Oh yes. So if, yes. if I say only I studied uh, cook four. four. Uh huh. Four. But, uh, if, if, if um, I'm sorry, I I'm a little bit confused because I thought um that I I uh, I can I can use um past continuous in that case. Um, I mean, it, it's because of the, of the context. You know what I mean? When something uh -huh. is in the past, you yeah. should you should use the past directly. Yes. You know, like like a straight to the point, right? If that is uh -huh. the past, just go with the past. If that is the uh -huh. future, go with the future. If if you want to tell me that something happened in the past while while you were doing something, in that case, yes, you can use past continuous. Okay? Yes, because I I were doing that all day all day of in the week for two years. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but the action is done already, so that means it's like, like you you can you cannot use uh past past uh, continuous. In that context, uh, it's not appropriate because you are not giving me a, a story about something that happened while you were studying. You know what I mean? In that one, uh -huh. yes, you can use, but if you are just telling me, oh, I studied. Uh, I don't know, uh, cooking course, cooking. that one, you need to use the past simple because it's straight to the point, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yes, you, go to, you, you, you go directly to the um, to the main idea to communicate, which is past. But you can say, you can use, if you want to use period of time, okay, mm -hmm. you can use for. I studied uh, a cooking course for two years. Okay. Okay. It's it's not a continuous activity. Oh, it's not a continuous activity because you did it. Okay. Uh -huh. Right now you are not uh, studying. Yeah. And when when you can use uh pa past uh continuous. Oh, when you want to tell me a, a story about uh -huh. something that happened while you were studying, for example, oh, I was uh -huh. studying a cooking course like in two thousand eleven when. My father died. In that uh -huh. one, yes, uh -huh. you can pass continuous. Uh, something uh, happened uh, simult simultaneously that exactly. you happen exactly. with the something... other activity. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Oh, because in Spanish you can you can use past continuous to say all oh, that, right? <laughs> Sorry. I don't I don't know about it. I don't know about it, Patricia. But my recommendation is, is that okay. When you want to talk about something in the past, just go with the past. Uh, and 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 like, well, in English is like straight to the point, okay. And no, I'm sorry. Yes, okay. it's, it's a kind of different, right? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Question for you, Ingrid Maricela: Have you ever tried chicken? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um. Now, um, Ingrid, what's your favorite way to cook or eat? The foods, this one that we have here. What's uh, favorite? My favorite grill. Okay, okay. Yeah, how, how often do you do that? Uh, maybe one time last, last month. One time a week? Uh -huh, one, yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Sarai Martinez, hello. It's nice to see you. Are you better now? Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, so those acetaminophen worked, right? Yes. <laughs> that thing yes, is, of course. is amazing. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry for your liver, but those things are good. Okay. So um that's what they give us. Whenever we go to the east, that's what they give us, right? Question for yeah. you. What's what's your favorite weight these uh foods? Uh 
Which one? I'm sorry, this one. Just pick one, okay? Or two or three. Oh. Um, I think fry. Thank you so much. Very good. Yes. What means steam? Oh, steam. Um, who's asking that? Steam. Well, steam is like when you want to eat something healthy and you put it in a pan and you put water. In Spanish, we call that like... Um, Al vapor. Al vapor. Exactly, exactly, right? Okay. Yes, that's steam, okay? That's steam. So if, if you see, if you see, like, we have, like, pretty much healthy things here, right? Like, break is, is somehow healthy. Yeah. What is, okay. what is one food that you can miss? That you can say, oh, this one? I love it. Yeah? This word with you, uh, Ronald. What is one food that you can miss? Uh, can you repeat me, please? What's, what's one food that you cannot miss? That you can say, oh, this one, I got to have it every month. Every month. Oh. Uh, the roast chicken. <laughs> the roast chicken. Yeah, that thing is delicious, right? Yeah, that thing is delicious. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Let me check. What else is okay. okay. Thank you so much. Patricia Esmeralda Garcia, question for you. Do you like seafood? Yes, I like it. I like to eat shrimp. Okay. Have you ever grilled? Have you ever grilled shrimp? No. No, I no I haven't. Okay. Tell me why, please. I love, I, I love shrimp bread bread. bread. Oh, so you fry them. You fry them. Oh, that's very fry good. Them. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's incredible. Empanizado. Empanizado. How do you <laughs> oh, yes. empanizado? Oh, that's good. <laughs> like, like, campero, right? Like pollo campero. Yes. Oh, I love. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious, but not nutritious. Okay. Thank you so much. We're going to work with verbs a little bit. Use the simple past or the present perfect of these verbs to complete the sentence. Okay. Thank you so much. We are going to start with, let me see, Irma, Adriana Segura. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop this one because I need to take the attendance. Sorry. Because uh, they told me that I need to take the attendance like in the middle. That's what I'm doing. Like that. Um, Alvaro Camilo? No, he isn't, right? Ana Martinez de Lopez? Thank you so much. Cesar Aparicio Mendoza? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Dadwin Blanco. No, he isn't. Tell me, Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, very good, tell me. Thank you so much. Emilio Acevedo. Hello, Emilio. No, he isn't. What about Stephanie Sarai Martinez? Have a Here I am. Wonderful, thank you. Franklin Magaña? No, he isn't, right? Uh, Geraldine, you're here, right? Uh, Virginia, Virginia Tovar. Virginia Tovar? Virginia? No, she isn't. Ingrid Flores? Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Irma Segura? Present. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Uh, Jesus Escobar Carranza. Jesus? No, he isn't. What about Jose Baquerano? Yes, Thank you so much. Catherine Rivera Callejas. Catherine? No, she isn't. Um, Juan David Melendez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Juan David, I miss your name. Uh, Kevin Flores. Okie dokie, Kevin is in here. Okay, I will check the chat on soon, uh, just when I finish taking the attendance. Lucia de Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Melvin Diaz. Present, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Daniela Carranza. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Daniela. Um, Milagro de la Paz. Milagro de la Paz. No, she isn't. Mirna Landos. Here, here I am, sir. Oh, Milagro, you're here? Yes, sir, I'm here. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Nelson Ceron. Hello, Nelson. Now he is in Patricia Garcia. Unes. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Patricia Castellanos. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Ronald Martinez, you are here, right? Roxana Diaz. Roxana Diaz. No, she is in Sandra. Roxana. I am here, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome. Nice to have you. Uh, I'm here. Sandra Asensio. I am here, teacher. Thank you. And Sandra Rivas. I'm here, present. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, Rocky. Let me check the chat really quick. Uh, Geraldine, very good. Emilio, yes. Um, Mila, okay, yes, very good. I'm sorry, and Roxana, very right, good. Okay, Emilio, right now, just give me a minute. Okay, now I got you. Thank you. Also, Geraldine, I got you. Also, Roxana, I got you here. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get back here. Are we going to work with verbs a little bit? As you may see, use the present simple or past. Um, I'm sorry, or present perfect of these verbs to complete the sentence. Okay, so we have write. Take, bring, and do. We're going to start with the first one. Have you ever riding a horse? Have you ever riding a horse? It's great. What is the number two? I What is the number two? I took. I took. I took. I brought all the ingredients with me. No. Oh, yeah, that is correct. Very good. Um, yes. I brought. I brought, I brought all the ingredients with me. Okay. Did you eat? <laughs> That's a question, right? Very good. If you're not <laughs> right, did, did, uh, did you eat a huge dinner last night? Very good. Number number four. We take took took we took took, took. took. perfect perfect we took okay. So here, if you notice, what I want you to notice is like um, the actions, right? The actions and the context. Most of the time, most of the time, when we have like um, present perfect, we're going to have have in a little bit of context of an experience, okay? And the past word is going to be explained to the past, okay? Thank you. But let's work with the next one. Give, decide, eat, and be. What do we have in number five? Given. Oh, very good. Yes. Given. I haven't given a birthday gift to my father yet. Very good. Number six. Eating. Being. Eating. Okay. Uh, let me see. Being. We have never. Uh, yeah. That's right. Being. That's correct. Being. So if you notice one more time, the key here is like have, right? So, oh, that means yes. present perfect. Very good. <laughs> what about number seven? I never eat him. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Eating. One more time again. I have never eaten. So if you notice, um, it's quite like, how do I say, like simple, let's say, right? The present perfect. When we have it, when we have it in grammar, so you can figure it out. Oh, I have, have. Also, I have uh, the context, which is telling me, oh, this is, oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> very, Jesus, very good. Yes. Okay. So here, in the last one, is going to be decided. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. The decided. And in here, Lucia, is where we use the um the verbs the list right so let me show you really quick here if I have the chance okay 
So here, for example, oh my gosh, let me see if I can have a space. Okay, let me show. So I have the verb. I have the verb. For example, uh, let me see. Okay, B, right? The verb B. The past form of the verb is was or where. Was or where. Exactly. Very good. Or where. And and the past participle is been. Okay. So when I have the past, I use this one, right? But when I have the present perfect, like this one, we have never, I'm going to use the third column. So you can say, you can say like this one, you know, right? So when you have the list, you can say, this is number one, and this is number two, and this is number three. So when you have the, the present perfect, you need to pick the column number three, this one. And when you want to talk about just the past, you need to use the second column, okay, of verbs in the list, mm -hmm. yes? And, and this is the way we, we do it, yes? And don't forget another key that will help you is to, oh, we have have, like in the sentence, we have mm -hmm. never been, we have never eaten. Have you decided? So that is giving you, oh, this is present perfect because we have have, yes? Mm -hmm. But when we have just a simple sentence that is talking about the past, that it means just past tense because it's just mm -hmm. one thing that telling you, hey, this thing happened like, I don't know, years ago or last week or yesterday, right? So it's, it's gone. So thank you so much. Any question about this? No. Okay, perfect. I'm going to move to the next one because we have other verbs. I'm sorry. I have a make, break, buy, skip. Let's work with number nine. What is I in number bought, nine? I bought. I bought. Very good. And this is one of my favorites, but because mm -hmm. it's very difficult to remember the spelling. Mm -hmm. I bought this chicken sandwich for five dollars, right? What about uh, the number 10? I'm sorry, I just broke. Broke. Yes, that's right. Broke, okay? Broke. Broke, okay? If you see the contest, it's totally in the past, right? Very good. Made. Made. Again, very good. Made. So one more time, the contest is in the past, okay? Gogigu. Oh, what is that? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. What is Gogigu? And anybody knows what is that? Go mm -hmm. Yeah. What? What is Gogigu? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, I don't know. It's a kind of oriental food. Picture, mate. Yes, very good. You're right. Absolutely. It's a gagigu. It's like, um, it's from Oklahoma, Tulsa. Oh, oh yes. Korean, like, Korean grill. What? Oh, Korean, yes. Yes. Korean grill. Oh, my Korean. gosh. Look at that one. You see? <laughs> sounds amazing. It, it sounds like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sounds like that because it, it looks, well, I, I'm looking here on the photos on, on Google and it looks like. Um, and what is it? I have no idea. <laughs> it looks like Chinese. Oh uh, it looks like Korean food with a bunch of like meat, yeah. pork, vegetables. Oh. In a, in a, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. It's a grill. So that means a, a bunch of little things that you can grill in a stove or something like that. Yeah, sounds really mm. amazing. Interesting. Oh. Yes. Oh, very good. Let's continue. Number uh, uh, 12. Uh, skip. Skip. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. Skip to P. Patricia? No, 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 no. It's not double P. Yeah, oh, two P's. Sarai. Very good, Sarai. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just say, just spit it out, right? Whenever and you when... have something a doubt, it's spit it out. Yes, I was missing the double P. That was wonderful, okay? And the first vowel is I? Forgot. Forgot. Yes. 
skipped. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, forgot. Okay. Forgot. Oh, this one I use it a lot. I forgot. I forgot to do this. Okay. Oh no, I forgot to buy rice. If you see this one, it's in the past, right? Very good. What about number fourteen? Right. Driven. 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 Right. Absolutely. Driven. Driven. Yes. Driven. Right. No, 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 driven. Driven with E, with E, driven. Yeah. Driven. Have you ever driven or driven? What is the correct pronunciation? Driven or driving? No, driving. 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 Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. Yeah, sometimes I get confused. I thought it was driven. Right. Sometimes I get confused. Okay. I was like, getting confused today early in, in like uh, like at 4 p and I was teaching a basic module and I got confused with the last. have you ever driven a driven or I'm sorry drive drive have you ever driven a sport car okay. have you ever driven a sport car yes very good what about the number 15 I, I tried. Tried. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. And the last one, number 16. Fall. Have you ever fallen? Fallen. Yeah. Fallen. Fallen, right? Very good. So again, one more time. There is a key over here, which is uh, when it comes to identify uh, the present perfect right which is how so whenever you see that or oh, we're gonna use the past participle form of the verb oh. in the context right and and that is telling you an experience right yes uh we use here in these examples a lot of questions i don't know why mm -hmm. it's, it's because of the context i guess but that's the way mm -hmm. that you see it here okay uh mm -hmm. and the past is quite simple because it's just about the past we're gonna carry on with this questions mm -hmm. Okay, we have in parentheses an unusual food, the name of a restaurant, a dish. So you need to write these questions and you need to write an unusual food, the name of a restaurant, or a dish. And then the number four is like, have you ever had a really good meal? Have you ever had a really bad meal? Those are direct. But in the first three, you need to like by yourself write like an unusual food or a name of a restaurant or a dish. So this, this three, the first three are just personal. What I want you to do is write the questions here, uh, these questions and add your personal information here, like you base it on your experience, right? Like, have you ever eaten? And what is the name of that unusual food? Like garrobo, right? Have you ever eaten like kusuko? I don't know. I never- you know the pataya. <laughs> no. <laughs> I I tried right. I tried those but I don't I don't like I don't like them. Uh, it was, it was a know. terrible experience for me. And uh, but in El Salvador is very popular, right, Juan? Yeah, rellenos de pacaya. That's that's very popular. Yeah. So that's what the I want you to do. Excuse me. Garrobo soup. <laughs> oh, garrobo soup, right? You have a caldito, right? Yes. Yeah. So, levanta muerto. That's the way they call it. <laughs> okay, relax. I'm going to give you a caldito, uh, a garrobo soup, so you can yes. eat. Mm -hmm. Rabbit. Mm -hmm. That's the way they tell you, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then in the number two, have you have the name of a restaurant, a fancy restaurant, or like an unusual restaurant? Or I don't know. Yes. Oh, and then the number three, a dish. A dish that is, I don't know, unique, let's say right or like not usual or not like something that we can have yes um i'm gonna give you let me see three minutes to do so and then i will start requesting participation from you okay i will pick random people okay the first one is going to be sarai so um <laughs> and then it's going to be melvin then jose alejandro Algerano, then daniela Marín. 
then Kevin Flores, then Jesus Escobar. Hello, Jesus. Good evening. How are you? Yes. Oh, for example, number one and number three, you need to tell me the questions, right? And then give me your answers as well. Yeah, it's like you yourself do the activity, right? Like you yourself ask these questions and at the same time you answer. Yeah. So um, I'm sorry for you, but that's but that's the objective. Okay. So you can like, oh, ask these questions and then answer this question. Yes. Do you understand? You understand? Yes. Oh, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna give you three minutes. Three minutes from now. Thank you. The time is over. We're going to start requesting participation. Sarai, thank you so much. Go ahead. Okay. And believe me that for me, this question is a little bit complicated because I don't eat almost nothing. I don't know how I'm alive, to be honest. But um, I remember that when I was a child, my mother cooked, uh, cooked for me, right? But she told me, I'm going to give you meat, but that wasn't meat, it was liver. And I just try, mm -hmm. try, but I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing your experience on that one. Great job. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, what, what is Melvin? Hello, Melvin. Hello. How are you? Where's Melvin? He was here, right? Oh, Melvin Diaz. Hi. Can you participate?
Okay. Geraldine, that is correct. Okay, let's work with, uh, let me see, because Melvin doesn't answer. Um, let me see. Kevin Flores. Hello, Kevin. Number two, Kevin. Um, no, okay. What about you, Jesus Escobar? Jesus? Milagro, that was very good. Yes, that was very good. Thank you, sir. Perfect, wonderful. Cesar Alejandro. Hello, Cesar. Good evening. How are you? No, okay, let's work with Daniela Carranza. Daniela Carranza. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Number two, please. Have you ever been to um Tony Ramos, I would say. Oh, wonderful. No. No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. I just heard people to say that it's a nice place to have a steak, but no, I never been there. Okay, so you don't like steak, right? I like it, but I like I like meat, but it's not also a big deal to me. I know there are so many other food that you don't need meat to enjoy a food. Oh, really? That sounds interesting. I love ribs. <laughs> ribs. <laughs> ribs, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Daniela. Very good. Thank you. Amirna Janet Landos. Hello, Mirna. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much. Can you answer number three? Number three? Yes. Um... Uh, uh, um. <laughs> do you do you understand the question? Have you ever made a dish? A dish. Dish. Mm -hmm. um, uh, no, no, understand. Okay, don't worry. We will help you. We will help you with that. And for that one, I I want you to listen. Milagro de la Paz. Jimenez answer, okay? Okay? Thank you, Milano. Go ahead. Have you ever made meatballs? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. It was easy. <laughs> it was, that was really good. Yeah, that was... That was, that was oh, no, teacher. It's oh, not easy for you. That was like, <laughs> I love it. I love it. That was very, like, I don't know, let's say, simple, let's say. <laughs> very good. Yeah. So, okay. So, Mirna, you got it? So here, have you ever made, and then you have the name of a dish. Okay. Like meatballs, like chicken, I don't know, like fried potatoes, I don't know, like. Um, sure. The, the name of this. dish, uh, in, in my case, is um, sugar and salt. <laughs> yeah. What what is that? <laughs> the sugar and is is um, the same uh, uh, langosta. ¿Cómo se dice langosta? Lobster. Lobster. Solo que super pequeñitos y están en la playa. Entonces se recolectan y por eso la playa Chiquirín se llama así. Oh, porque hay muchos chiquirines. Ah, ah, yes, I, I, I know. No. I never tried that. I never tried that. Yes, yes. It's, 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 it's free culture. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, People you usually made it with uh, rice, right? What? Excuse me? I don't you usually you. make it with rice? No. Uh, um and is is dependent your your uh your life. Perfect. Oh, okay. 
Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. So, Mirna, this is the way. The number three is like, have you ever made and then the name of a dish, right? I like chicken. Exactly. Have you ever made chicken and orange? Okay, orange juice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And number four. Well, let me see if we have the time. Oh, no, people. I'm sorry. It's time to go to bed so you can rest. Bye, and we will see you next class. That's gonna be on Monday. Okay. Yes, okay. on Monday. I hope that we can ha have the chance to practice a little bit more of this one, so you can be clear. And uh, don't forget that you have in the platform a bunch of exercises. So I recommend to practice on them. Thank you so much for the ones that are already done. The people that finish with those, wonderful. Keep working like that. You're doing it wonderful. Good night, and we will see you on Monday. Take care. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Have a good week. Good night. You do the same.